This morning we're going to cover the logical operator NOR. NOR is going to test values that you pass in and if those values it's going to not return those values. So as a case in point let's say that we had expression 1 and expression 2. If expression 1 and expression 2 are true um, it is not going to return those values. So uh, let's go ahead and look at our values really fast to kind of give a, a live example of this. So in the case of nor, if I were to say where a value is nor and I say stocks or three, stocks three really is how it's going to look. What that means is any value that is stocks or any value that is three is not going to be returned. And we'll demonstrate that. And this, what we're going to look at is the NOR operator. And I'm going to open up our array brackets, which we are going to use. Like I said, it'll be very familiar for people who have done object-oriented programming. So NOR number nine, NOR financial stocks. And of course, I just keep a space for a mental note. That's all I'm doing, a space with the brackets. It is not something that is required. Okay, so in this case, we know that number, of course, is a numeric column. We know that financial is a string column. So what we're saying here is we're not going to return a number that's 9. If the number is 9, which is really here, right, right here, and we're not going to return where financial is stocks. Now, this is very interesting, and I, I want to show this. So we know that the number is 9 and we know that the number is stocks but we also know if we look at the values that we have other values here that are stocks most of the values of course are futures but we do have other values that are stocks so if I say this NOR operator where number 9 in financial stocks what do you think is going to happen and it's the reason why I use this example highlight it very well is that it returns everything that is not 9 or is not stocks. So you'll notice that we don't get any of the stock value, whereas up here we had a stock value that was three. We had a stock value obviously that's nine and... You can tell I'm used to reading SQL tables. We have another one that's stocks three. Down here we don't get any of that. We get futures and we get bonds and then we don't get the nine either. So that's something to note. If you if you're thinking that this is going to not return this and this, not the case. You're going to use another combination with not in.